Okay, in this lesson we are going to work on update and delete. All right, um, let's start with um, our controller. So we're going to set our instance variable for tag uh, to be the record that we'll find using the params sent from the view. So that'll be the params ID. All right, so now we have our, our ID um, set going to view and tags edit all right i'm going to delete this and since we are editing we need to create our form uh, start with um the namespace admin and tag this will yield f back to us and we can use use that to build our form so the edit we need to have a label and a field for it. So it's name, copy and paste this and change this to text field for name. So that's fine. And lastly, we just want to have a submit button. And that's what we have. All right, so this is the form uh, done. So let's click on edit on any of this and we have our editors there okay so when we click on update tag it's going to send our data to the update method of our tag controller all right so let's quickly write the code for that section as usual the update sends a param so we find a record um, the tag and then we basically say tag.update and we pass in the tags uh, params as the value that we want to update with. And if this is successful, we want to redirect uh, the page to the new admin tag URL, and then we'll give it a notice. All right, so we have done this a few times now, so repetition is good. Um, and then here is where we handle what happens if there is an error. So in this case, I just want to set uh, a flash message there was a problem updating tag okay now uh, we've done the update part of it if we go back into the view and we try to update uh, this tag and it's successfully updated and that's that's fine I'll go back to edit and what if we had no value there so let's deal with the validation for that. Let's go to the model for uh, the tag model and say validates name presence true. So we want the name to always be present. So let's try and see if I get rid of this and I try to update with nothing. Um, and we have a template missing error. So I've missed something in the controller. So let's have a look on 23. We need to render edit when something doesn't go as we planned. Okay, so let's try it again. And now we have, there was a problem updating tag re-rendered onto the page. All right, so that means that uh, we have done, can update any tag and can update tag in use just to double check. If we go into tags, and go down to one of the tags in use. Okay, we can edit this and add some data at the end. Update, just to make sure that everything is working and that is there, so it does work. All right, so update section is done. Read is done, so we just mark that as done. So the next bit is the delete uh, side of things. All right, so to show validation, so I'm just going to mark this whole section uh, retrospectively as done. So we are going to do the delete and that will conclude the tags. So let's quickly uh, go into our controller and we have done destroy a few times now. So it's just a simple matter of finding a tag uh, destroying it and then redirecting. So let's do that. Tag.find, params, and this is the ID, 
this makes sense when we click on delete from the view so we will simply just say tag destroy and after we want to redirect back to wherever it was destroyed from and then we want to say notice and we want to print something on the screen okay and that is delete so let's refresh and we can try to delete the ones that we can delete we notice that uh, CSS1 and that is deleted and the same with our JavaScript and okay so our delete works other deletes will not work because they are in use so that is done delete is done um, so this is where uh, this lesson ends and I will see you in the next lesson